have talked a bunch on this channel about my having autism and how my autism informs the media that I consume. Well, also one of the things that autism does is it shapes what I do with my personal time. In particular, it kind of makes me something of a homebody. I generally need a, a push to get out there to do some activities. Doesn't be a hard push, but the push has to be there. And so this led to me resonating with a anime series from 2020 that I did not mention in the top in my five recommendations video, not because I didn't like it again, but because I want to give it some time to talk about it on its own video and why I, why I was particularly interested with it. And that anime was Uzaki-chan Wants to Hang Out, one of the slice of life romantic comedy anime from the fall 2020 season. Uzaki-chan Wants to Hang Out follows Shinichi Sakurai. Sakurai is a third-year college student who has a intimidating appearance and is something of a loner, generally doing stuff by himself or with one of his friends, um, Itsuhito Sakaki. I'm probably mispronouncing that. And then... Uh, one of Shinichi's underclassmen from high school, Hana Uzaki, starts attending his college. Uzaki has a type A personality, and when she sees her senpai's loner lifestyle, she decides to shake up his life and get him to do things to make sure that he doesn't have what she views to be a kind of sad and pathetic life. Hilarity, of course, ensues. And on top of all of this, as the show goes on, the two also start developing feelings for each other, with Sakurai's co-workers from the cafe with the, uh, where he works, and also Sakaki, working to further things along with varying degrees of success and with varying tactics. As far as the comedy goes, the show is a straight-up farce. Lots of comedy related to misunderstandings, lots of them related to statements that can be mis misinterpreted as being of romantic intent, or actually interpreted as romantic intent, but then somebody's covering up for it, and some of the circumstances being somewhat risque. However, what the show doesn't do, and I do appreciate, is with a handful of exceptions, there is no heavy sexual slapstick. No Sakurai tripping and getting his head wedged in Usaki's ample cleavage, no accidental copping a feel due to arms getting placed, um, swinging his arm and accidentally grabbing a boob, nothing like that. There is humor made about Uzaki's chest, but it is nowhere near remotely close to the level of Lukoa from Dragon Maid. I mean that both in the sense of the size of Uzaki's chest, and also in terms of the, the level of the jokes made about Uzaki's chest. Indeed, um, a lot of the humor of the show is dialogue-focused, like completely dialogue-focused banter, that sort of thing. Um with the side of some mild slapstick, but that's mainly around Sakurai getting teased. A great example of this is a scene with Uzaki and Sakurai, who are sitting on a bench eating candy, but Sakurai does mentions that he doesn't like chocolate mint, because he thinks it tastes like toothpaste, and before later admitting, when pressed by Uzaki, that he hasn't actually had much chocolate mint, it's just what he's told. And told. This leads to a several-minute-long filibuster, very well animated by Uzaki speaking the praises of chocolate mint, which, as a person who himself very much likes chocolate mint, I found both deeply, deep, deeply agreeing with and also finding utterly hilarious, especially with the payoff at the end of the sequence. In short, as a person who needs a someone like Uzaki in their life, and not just I mean this in like a quote unquote romantic sense, but in terms of as a peer, as a friend, as that sort of thing. Um, even outside of the whole thing of the fact that we're in a global pandemic that incentivizes us being a, a home buddy, because if you're on currently as things are with this recording, being a home buddy is a home body is a survival trait. Um, but when we're outside of that, um, I'm uh, someone who would, again, would need kind of someone like Uzaki in their life and normally does normally as people like that who i hang out with um this show resonated with me a lot and particularly more so again this past year i consequently really dug this show and i'm glad that it came out and i'm also hoping that the show gets a second season 
um, because I enjoyed the first one. I believe it is has been greenlit for a second season. Um, in any case, it is currently available both subbed and dubbed on Funimation. I will have a link to where you can watch it on the show notes. Um, if the DVD or Blu-ray is available for pre-order as well, I will have affiliate links to that also um, in terms of picking it up. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the show, please like and subscribe, and also consider backing my Patreon. Patreon backers get episodes up to one week early of this show and any future Let's Plays. Also, please consider backing my coffee. Uh, Toss me a few bucks also helps support the show, and it's not a monthly obligation or anything like that.